So if we are to consider from our previous part, we managed to work with the simple interest formula. In this case, we are going to see how questions might be given when we are to consider uh, the compound interest formula. Uh, it is still uh, one and same part that you have to consider in terms of uh, what you are considering, the accumulated amount, the principal, the interest rate, the number of years. Only that it is the formula that has changed. So what is it that you're supposed to consider on the compound interest formula? It states that this time the amount can be given by the formula into 1 plus i to the exponent of n. Like I said before, a simply representing uh, the accumulated amount in that case. So this is our accumulated amount. And we are going to talk about the money that is being invested, which is the principal in this case. So this is your principal, the amount invested or the starting uh, amount of the business, the initial amount that you start with. Then I being the interest rate. And uh, there we are going to talk of the interest rate as a decimal. Like I said, you're going to use this as a as a decimal this part is not going to change we are going to apply this as a decimal simply you use the given uh percentage that is the percentage given you divide that by 100 that percentage that you have you divide it by 100 and n representing what the number of years so there we are going to be representing the number of years number of years so it is still the same thing that we had but how are we going to use our formula for the compound interest let's consider the first question that we have in this case we are given that trevor invest an amount of which is the principal this is amount invested of twenty thousand rand in a bank Calculate using appropriate formula. I mean, you say there are so many formulas that you can use, but I want you to get hold of this formula so that when you continue in your grade 11, grade 12, you won't have a challenge. So they are saying, calculate the accumulated amount, meaning to say we do not have the value of A after six years, the number of years we are given. Remember, N represents the number of years and also the total interest he will receive there are two things there and the total interest he will receive so we also need the interest that he is going to to receive after which is i remember i also mentioned uh previously it is still the same thing like what we had before that also the amount can be given as the sum of the principal plus the interest, which is the money gained, the money that you have gained added to the principal can give you the uh, amount accumulated. So I also talked about that. If the interest rate is 4.5% per annum compound interest. So remember percentage given divided by 100. So that's I in this case was going to be uh, 4,5. You divide it by 100. So it's, it's going to be 0, 0,045. So you have to divide this percentage, just like what we had under the simple interest. This percentage, you divide it by 100. So you, you have to consider what is it about the interest? It's compound. It's no longer simple interest. So the difference there is you'll be told this interest that has been used so as you can see the same statement only this part that has changed compound interest so now this is the formula that you're supposed to use so as you can see the amount is equal to p into one plus i to the exponent of n where we have got the principal amount invested which is twenty thousand, into one plus the interest rate as a decimal uh that will be uh, 0, 0.045 to the exponent of n, the number of years which were taken, which is six. So with this, we can use 
our calculators to simplify this, just like uh, what I said, if you're working with the money, you are going to round off your answers to two decimal places. So this is 20,000, open a bracket, that's one plus uh, 0 0.045 raised to the exponent of six. So this was going to give us uh, this amount. You can even fix these to two decimal places. That'll be 26,045,20. So that's 26,045,20 in that case to two decimal places. That is the amount accumulated. But we do not do this. We also need the total interest you will receive. So for the interest, what is going to be the interest? As we can see from this, we can simply take the amount. Uh, the principal this side is amount minus principal is equal to the interest received. So the interest is simply the difference that of amount minus the principal, which is the amount accumulated to of 26,045.20 minus what you started with, which is uh, 20,000. So that is 20,000 there. So meaning to say at the end is going to be the difference, which is 6,045.20. So that was going to give us uh, 6,000 and uh, 45.2 as the interest received, not percentage. This is the, the, the amount gained, the one that you gained from the investment. When you invest 20,000, and at the end, you get 26,000. What is it that you have gained from that investment? That is the question there. All right. Then another question we are given here is to consider seven years ago, a certain amount of money was invested seven years ago. Seven years ago. So the number of years we already given, that is seven years. So a certain amount, we do not know that. But the value of investment is currently, meaning to say that is the accumulated amount currently, it is at 350,000. Calculate the original amount invested, which is P, the amount invested, if the rate was 3.25% per annum compound interest. Compound interest, you have to divide by 100. So the interest there, divide by. 100, it was going to be 0 0.0325. So we can calculate the principal. If the formula is stating that the amount can be given as P into 1 plus I to the exponent of N, we can make P the subject, this one. Remember, it's the one that you want. It's a product there. So what can I simply do? I can simply divide by this bracket of 1 plus i to the exponent of n, both sides. So by dividing by this, guys, we are going to remain with what? With the p. So it follows that p could have been calculated from this formula, if you want. You can just make whatever that we want subject. We solve for p. So simply divide. Or you can just substitute, then you divide by whatever that you have there. It's still one and the same thing. So the amount Accumulated, which is 350, so thus we've got 350,000 over what? 1 plus the interest rate, which is 0 0.0325 raised to the power of N, the number of years, which is 7 years. So that is what you're going to have. Okay, that is what you're going to have there. So this is 325. So with this, we can simplify uh, and obtain the principal amount that we had uh, in this investment. So that was going to be simply direct, guys, on your calculator. Uh, we already fixed our calculator to two decimal places. So whatever that you're going to have is to two decimal places. 350,000, open bracket, that's 1 plus uh, 0 0.0325, close it to the exponent of 7. So that's it. You're going to obtain uh 279,000 so that's 279,000 and this is going to be 793 793,50 
So that is what you have there. That is the money that was invested seven years back in order for this guy uh, to obtain 350,000 currently. So they can even ask you the money that was gained, the interest that was gained, amount minus principal. You can obtain that. So these are the typical questions that you need to go through as you are revising. Make sure that you go through your compound interest, check your question papers. How do they ask the questions? So we shall have uh, typical exam questions after this.